Good day, everyone. Today, our topic is fractions. Let's sing. Fractions, fractions, they're parts of a whole. Fractions, fractions, they're what I know. They're equal pieces, they're parts of a pie. Fractions, fractions, they're all right. Half a pie, half a tree. Halves of different things are different sizes, you see. But a half is a half, big or small. It takes two halves to make one whole. Fractions are equal sized parts of a whole. When it comes to halves, there are two equal sized parts that make up one whole. Now try to say these fractions. One half. One third. Fractions, fractions, they're parts of a whole. Fractions, fractions, they're what I know. They're equal pieces, they're parts of a square. Fractions, fractions, they're right here. Tells how many parts there are. Tells how many parts you got. When you have parts, parts of the whole. Fractions, fractions, what you need to know. One third of a pie, one third of a bar. Thirds of different things are different sizes by far. But a third is a third, big or small. It takes three thirds to make one whole. It takes three thirds to make one whole. One third, then two thirds, then three thirds. That's one whole. Now try to say these fractions. Two thirds. Three fourths. Fractions, fractions, they're parts of a whole. Fractions, fractions, they're what I know. They're equal pieces, they're parts of a pie. Fractions, fractions, they're all right. Numerator never under on the top. And you for never D under. D for denominators always down. D for down. Numerator up, denominator down. Fractions, fractions are all around. Quarter circle, quarter square. One quarter plus three quarters makes one whole right here. And a quarter is a quarter, big or small. It takes four quarters to make one whole. Try to say these fractions. One fourth. Three fourths. Six eighths. Fifteen sixteenths. Fractions, fractions, they're parts of a whole. Fractions, fractions, they're what I know. They're equal pieces, they're parts of a pie. Fractions, fractions, they're all right. Fractions, fractions, they're parts of a whole. Fractions, fractions, they're what I know. They're equal pieces, they're parts of a pie. Fractions, fractions, they're all right. Now let's revise on the terms of fractions. When we have improper fractions, means we have the numerator which is more than the denominator. When we have mixed number, we have the three uh, numbers together, which is we have the whole number, we have numerator, and also denominator. Two is the whole number, Top one is the numerator and the lower one which is down that is denominator Now let's use metaphors for each numbers remember whole number is mummy numerator is the son and the denominator is the dad So now I want you to color the fractions accordingly. Color all the whole numbers green. So draw a circle on, let's say number one, two, five over six. 
So draw a circle on number two and color it green. And color all the numerator yellow. Means five. Please color it in yellow. Over six. Six. Color it in blue. So I repeat. Whole number. Color it with green. Numerator. Color it with yellow. And denominator. Color it with blue. If you don't have a printer, you may copy these questions. Make sure the page is divided into two. Each page is only two questions. Now, after you finish the coloring, you convert all the mixed number fraction into improper fraction. How to convert? Remember, mommy must marry with daddy. That is 2 times 6. Then you get a son, then plus 5. Then you get 17 over 6. That is number 1. So this is how to show it in the paper. Please show your working correctly and neatly for each question. Example 2, 3 over 4 means the daddy which is 4 times the mommy which is 2 and you get the son that is 3. And over 4, 4 is the daddy, your family's name is always the same. And it will never change. So 8 plus 3 over 4. The answer is 11 over 4. Now here we have some exercise on addition of the mixed number. Okay, look at number 1. You may add the whole number first. 5 plus 3. 8. Then you write the whole number 8. Now, since it has the same denominator, then you can plus straight. 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 over 7. Now let's look at number 2. 8 plus 7. So the whole number is... 15. You can write 15 first. Now since both denominator is 2, so you can put 3 plus 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is actually equals to 2 holes. 2 whole number. So previously we get a 15 whole number plus another two whole number, then the answer should be 17. If you think you are confused, then you change this question into improper fraction. After you finish, then only change back into the whole number. Now here there are more addition, which is simpler if there is a same denominator. If you have different denominator, make sure you change it into the same denominator. Look at number 2. So you have 5 and then the other one is 15. So 5 times what equals to 15? is 5 times 3. So make sure your numerator also you need to times 3. Please remember you have to make sure to change everything into same denominator then only you can add or subtract.
here we have some exercise of addition with different denominator mixed number change all the mixed number into improper fraction first after changing into improper fraction the second step change all the denominator into the same denominator by looking at your times table don't forget if you times 4 make sure your numerator must times 4 once you have done then only you do the addition you can print out all the three worksheets or you copy in your exercise book and solve the answers once completed please email to me